Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe. And this week I'm going to show you how to dress up photographs by using textures. Now this is the fastest and the easiest way to make photos look like works of art. Now you've seen this everywhere and maybe you just didn't realize how it was done or you didn't realize how easy it is. So we're going to take three different examples and I'm going to show you three different looks by simply adding textures inside of Photoshop. So the first one we're going to do here is we're going to start with our hippie girl here with the guitar and we're going to add this a little bit of a, a mood and emotion to this. So we're going to open up our Creative Cloud libraries and I've got this texture that I previously downloaded from Adobe Stock. And in a second I'll show you how easy it is to do that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to place it on the image. I'm going to hold down the shift key and drag out this texture to fill up the entire screen and hit enter. Now obviously it's hiding the layer underneath. Now the way to apply these texture overlays is to simply use blend modes. And so let's have a look here. There's different types of blend modes here. These darken them, these lighten them, and these work with the midtones. And uh, I have much more comprehensive training on blend modes on Photoshop Cafe as well as a free ebook. So check that out. All right, so let's try something like maybe a multiply blend mode. So there we go, we can just go before and after. All I've done is applied this blend mode and it's given us this grungy effect. So we can go down to maybe a color burn and you can see it gives us a different flavor before and after. Now there's other blend modes that generally work, but the ones that are the most popular ones that work a lot is multiply, screen, and overlay. Those three are gonna be your best friends. Let's have a look at overlay. See that it creates a completely different effect. And let's have a look at the screen. It's just going to kind of lighten it up a little bit on this one. Sometimes you can play with the opacity and drop that down a little bit. And see, it kind of gives us a lens flare kind of a look there. Okay, so let's have a look at other ones like soft light and hard light are also good ones to use. And once again, if we look at this before and after, see how just adding this one texture with a blend mode changes the entire feel of the image. The other one we could do is go down to a hard light you can see this is very textured and you can apply other kind of textures and text and different things over the top of it. Let's take this picture for example. Now I could play around with the same texture if I want. You can use these textures over and over again in different photos. Well, why don't we find our own texture? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to open this up and let's type in snow texture. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to go into Adobe Stock and it's going to pull these. Now, don't worry, you can use these over the top of your image. There's one that looks good. I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to drag it into the image right now. And let's hide that. And we're just going to place it over the top. Notice that we've got just our watermarked version there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to go to something like a screen mode. And you can see instantly we get this nice snowy texture. And if you want to license this image and use it because you like the result, just go under here. And we can just go off there and you'll see what's happened. It's actually been added to your library there. And you can just right click and choose license image. And we're just going to click OK. And there we go. Once it's licensed, it's just going to upload and it's going to replace it. And you don't have to redo your image. So there we go. We're using kind of a snowy texture. You can see that before and after. You've seen this look before. All right, so let's go to another one. Let's try this one here, and we're going to try a different look, a third look. So let's go and grab a bluish kind of a texture we've got here. I'm just going to drag that out there. And we're just going to click and drag here, holding down Shift to make it fit. And let's try something else. Let's try maybe a screen blending mode. And we can see, you know, we get a very kind of almost like a TV show kind of a look. Now, one of the things you can do in here, too, is you can also create a layer mask. And with the layer mask, we can just grab a brush and uh, make sure I've got a soft edge brush here. So turn the hardness down. I've got my opacity at about 50%. And you can just paint, you know, just in here to kind of just blend that in. So you don't have to use that texture on the entire image. And if we look at this before, and after you can see it takes a very plain boring background and adds a bit of visual interest to it so let me just get rid of this mask though let me delete this layer mask and show you a couple of other options that we can do here we could try something like maybe an overlay and you can see now we're going for more of a kind of a darker look almost like 
little uh, grunge dark art kind of thing here. And then we can go down a little bit more, maybe a soft light or a hard light. And you can see soft light or hard light. Once again, very, very dramatic now. And of course, you could apply a layer mask on here. And we could just paint bits back in just by masking that out. There we go. Just a little bit. But the other thing we can do is we can combine these images. So let's go back to maybe this one here where we use the snow. And let's drag out our texture in here as well. Let's grab out our grunge texture. We're just going to apply that and also this blue texture. And I'll show you what we can do if we want to combine all of these together. Let's start with this blue one. Let me just center that a little bit. And I might just use this around the edges of the frame. So here's how I might do this. I'm going to add a layer mask. And then I'm just going to grab our marquee tool. And I'm just going to go around the edges here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this with black. So option backspace, because what we're doing here is we've got black as our foreground. I'm just going to turn off the selection by hitting Control D. Now I'm just going to soften this mask. Double click on the mask here. And this will open up the properties panel. And then we're just going to take the feather and we're going to feather that around the edges. Look at that. See how we can do that? We can also change the blend mode to something like, I don't know, maybe I'm thinking multiply might look good. Yeah, there we go. So now we've got this kind of texture around the edges, but what about in the middle? Okay, well, let's do something else with this one. And notice that this one's underneath the blue one, so it's not going to really take away from that. And what we can do is we can change this to the multiply. There we go. So we can see that before and after. Now we're combining the three textures. So let's take the snow on top, though because we want that snow to kind of show through nicely. And you can see that we've got that texture on the edge there, and we've got that texture inside. Now you can also play around with the opacity. If you feel that one on the edge is too much, you can just play around with that. And same with our one here. We can play around with that and just apply the right amount. Here's our photograph before, and here's our photograph afterwards. And see how we've added so much to it just by simply using these textures. So anyway, if you like this tutorial, become part of the Cafe Crew, hit the subscribe button right now, and I've got a new tutorial coming your way every single week. So thanks guys for watching, add a comment, let's get a discussion going about this, and until next time, I'll see you at the Cafe.